Hi everyone, welcome to another SpaceX update video. Without wasting any time, let's dive right in. Yesterday on June 12th, SpaceX achieved a doubleheader with the successful launch of its 40th and 41st missions of the year. Another batch of 52 Starlink satellites gracefully soared into the sky from Space Launch Complex 40 in Florida at 3.10 a.m. Eastern Time. It's incredible to note that this marks SpaceX's 19th dedicated Two, Starlink mission one. this year. Ignition, engines full power and lift up of Starlink 5-11. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Falcon 9 is pitching down range. Adding to the excitement, the first stage booster supporting this mission completed its eighth successful launch and landing. Keep an eye out for the landing legs that are landing scheduled to deploy. deploy just a few moments before landing. Stage one landing confirmed. But the excitement didn't stop there for the day. Approximately 13 hours later, we witnessed yet another remarkable launch with SpaceX's eighth rideshare mission, also known as Transporter 8. A Falcon 9 rocket with 72 spacecraft inside its fairing lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California at 2.35 p.m. Pacific Time. Uh, so Transporter 8, go Falcon, go Transporter. Also, the first stage booster, B-1071, accomplished its ninth consecutive launch and landing. Moreover, this incredible landing marked the 200th successful recovery of an orbital-class rocket. And as you saw and probably just heard, we had a successful first stage landing at landing zone 4. Marking the ninth landing for this specific booster. It also marks SpaceX's 200th landing. Stage 2, FTS has saved. 200th landing of an orbital class rocket. Moving on to South Texas, the launch site is buzzing with activity. As mentioned in our previous video, the two massive tanks have been successfully lifted into place. Simultaneously, SpaceX is diligently preparing S-25 for its upcoming static fire test, which we anticipate will take place in the coming days, hopefully not weeks. Keep an eye out for a possible road closure on the 14th, as indicated on the Cameron County website. Additionally, as part of its launch readiness test campaign, SpaceX tested the aft flaps of S-25, and they are visibly functioning flawlessly. Let's keep our fingers crossed that S-25 will have the opportunity to demonstrate the effectiveness of those flaps during its flight. Over at the Starbase production site, the first segment of the second level of Megabay 2 has been successfully installed. This new structure, combined with the expansion of the Star Factory, will surely transform Starbase into a visually stunning and awe-inspiring facility. The progress at SpaceX continues to defy expectations and sets the pace for the rest of the industry. And that wraps up this short update. We appreciate you joining us and staying informed about the latest happenings at SpaceX. Thank you for watching, and until next time, 